അവശ്യമായി okay yeah so a good way to do it because as we are pushing this one is affecting if you not see on your own side it might be affecting themselves like the size of each other yes as you are pushing the margin top and all those things so we can all give each of them uh, position absolute position absolute makes them independent of each other right? So like okay, now, sir. this logo image, you can give a position absolute. Where is logo image? Yeah. That is the image itself. Position absolute. Yeah. So it's on its own now. Then the same applies to the text. So you can just copy this and put on all the logo texts. Position absolute, then the links to position absolute. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so everything is position absolute. Now, so you can style them independently as you want. Okay, sir. Yeah, so let's reduce the, the first of all, let's push this foot away from the uh, image. That is the text. So we don't do. Um, Margin, okay, we already have margin left, so we increase it. Yes, sir. Like 25. Okay, that is too small. Uh, yes, sir. Let's push, let's push this um, links away more. The links first. So the links, margin left, we increase it like 500. Um, I think it's too much. So let's reduce. Let's say four, four fifty. Let's do. Four. Oh, four sixty. Yeah. So that is good. So um, this foot. Let's see move it more. Since overlapping, that is the text. Margin uh -huh. left, margin left, forty-five pixels. I see. Okay, so let's increase it. Um, let's say fifty-five. Fifty-five. Yeah. Or oh, okay. Um. Let's add a bit fifty-eight. Okay, I think that is better. You yeah, have Google. Yeah. Um okay, so let's move this link up a bit, the links. Let's move them up. So headers are not really meant to be so uh, much in height. Uh, it's not meant to be so much in height. So let's just move them as much as possible upward. Um, yeah, so that is um, links, yes, links. So the um, margin top, and we use that to like text two. So much. Or let's go a little downwards, like 28. Okay, sir. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, so then foot two, let's take it up. You can see our manipulating margin padding. Yeah, that is yes, the whole beauty of the CSS. Um, so for the text, logo text now. Um, uh, 
let's see if we remove everything first. If I remove, I remove the whole margin. Okay, so hmm, we can put it back. Control Z. Sometimes we use negative margin that is in a way to push things up to so like when you have exhausted because when we get to zero now, it will not still go as far as we want it. So you can say minus five, it will still push it up. Yes. Yeah, you see it still pushed it up, yeah, minus five. Yeah, so you can use negative. So let's make it minus four. Yeah. That's as much as possible, you can try to avoid negative, but in case it's needed, you can use negative margins and panels. So let's do minus three, so I can be at the middle. So you have to be very precise when you are doing like your CSS style. Everything has to be in order. Okay. So now the image now, let's, it's looking too fat, so let's make it slimmer. So you just do it. So let's make that um, 30, let's see. Oh, too small. So let's make it um, 60. Okay, still at 50, but let's add the height. Um, okay, no, trying to VH. So for height, you can use VH. VH means view height. So VH, that is to increase the height of something. Yeah, you can see the height increase there. Yeah. So it's too much. So let's. Make it 10. I can see it's better now. It's adjusting everything. So let's reduce the uh, to like um, six. No, it's two. two. Six, uh, eight. Exactly. I think this is cool, yeah. But we need to take it up. A bit. So you can add to that margin top. Yet we still need to do negative because of the space available. Margin top, let's say minus five pixels. Um, so minus. Um, Seven. I know eight. Okay, I think this is cool. Yeah. So what we we'll do now is to move. Um, is it okay here, or do we move them left a bit? I think it's okay now. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so what we're now doing now is create a button here. So most times you see in websites where you put, um, I mean, you see sign up. Yes, sir. Yeah, sign up. So we'll put sign up here. We'll create a button. So now we'll teach you how to do buttons. Yeah. So um, under under these links, just add a div. Oh no, just do, uh, let's say, I think we can go directly, just do button. Button is a tag on its own, a button. So you just type sign, sign up inside, sign up. Yes, then give it a class. Class name, let's do sign up button. So you have to name it according as what it means. 
sign up. You can separate it by dash dashes. Sign up button. Yeah. So dot. So you now go to CSS, then target the class that you gave it. That is sign up button. So dot sign up button. So under these links, dot sign up button. Yeah, so first let's check how it looks like there. Uh -huh, you can see the button here. Yeah. So let's see if we can do display flex there. Like okay, justify. I'm coming out. I'll just explain after. Let me see if that works out. Okay, no. So let's do it manually. Okay, so let's do um that will be margin left to push the button to the other side of the margin left. Mm. Um, I'm coming. OK. Let's say 700. It's a large amount of this. OK. But well, I want to get to this point. Um, so let's make C900. We're giving a very, very large. Okay, let's see if we can. Um, on the header, if we can do. Justify content here. Yeah. Space around. Let's see how. Uh, okay, so it has made it easier for us. We did just five content space around, so it has spread everything. Unlike before, where the sign up was at the beginning, we have to start giving it one thousand. Now, if I remove this now the sign up will be here and it's not good because you have to push it by 1000 something for it to get here but a shorter way you can just to reduce the number of margins that you're giving just give it justify contest space around means that means you create some space around each content you can see it spread it out for you this one it has spread to this side so all you need to do now is to push this foot backwards yes so it does um, for the foot uh, image. That is logo image. The margin left. Let's give it margin left. Let's see uh, ten pixels. Plus. Oh no, sorry. You it will affect the logo since it's covering both of them. So let's just target the logo. So let's give it minus since we are taking it backwards. So let's give it a minus. Yeah, you can see it's moving backwards. Minus uh, 250. Yeah, it's going backwards. Uh, maybe 350, let's see. Okay, great. Yeah, so now when I take this links backwards. Yeah. So we'll go to links. The margin left will reduce it. 
to like 260. Till it gets on here. So let's say 160. So 60. Uh, let's make it um, 40. Okay, 20, let's see 22. Yeah. Okay, so let's now take this sign up here. So first of all, let's bring it down from up. That will be margin top to bring it down. So margin top. So can I move this? You don't need it again. Margin top. I say 20 pixels. Yeah. Uh, so I have to bring it down to this level. So 30 pixels. Nope, that is too much. So twenty-four pixels. Okay. Uh, let's make it twenty-five. Yes. So after that, you now push it to the right a bit, so it will be margin left. Uh, Fifty pixels. Give it again, margin left. Let's make it uh, 350. Okay, um, let's make it absolute. You know, if not giving some position absolute. So position of some is not disturbed other things. Yeah, it was disturbing this foot before. So now that it's position absolutely, you can now take that foot. Yeah. It says a lot. Right? So you have, you have to be patient to be able to position everything well. Um, yeah. So let's see something first. Since they are lined up together now, uh, let's see if we give a gap for the whole. That is under this header, so it can just create gap between the section. Gap of twenty pixels. So we need to be doing all those. Uh, okay, it's not okay. So let's just um, separate them like that. So that is a logo, the logo margin left. Uh, so we increase it. Yes, to take it back to that point. I'm still going very high again. <laughs> And that's what we avoided before. Okay, well, let's remove that position absolute. Sir? Yeah, let's remove the position absolute for this. I mean, so for the okay. for the button here. Yeah. Since I saw it's causing problems for us. Yeah. Um, 
So now this one, you now push this foot forward. Since it's pushing now on backward. So for the foot, that is the logo one. Reduce, yeah, take something minus 250. Yeah, so that it can come back, yeah. Then keep pushing this sign up till it gets to where you want it. Yeah, that is margin left. Uh, 450 pixels. We'll still bring this on inside, so don't bother. Let's just push this to where we want it. Okay, sir. Yeah, so that one, 650. 750, I think so. Yeah. So we'll move that one back is. Okay, let's do 800, yeah. Yes. Then we'll now move the logo inside. So we'll take, make that one like, uh, let's try 50 pixels. Yeah, minus 50 or minus 100. Here. Um, let's make it fifty. Yeah. So this one, let's make that one. It's too far. So let's make it like seven fifty. Okay, sir. So let's now do um, like to style this um, button now. Let's do padding. Uh, so here you see the padding in action now. Padding and margin. So a good way to do this now will be um, padding. So padding is creating space inward. So you can just pad the four things at the same time, top, right, bottom, left. That is the, it goes clockwise, top, right, bottom, left. So you can give it 10, 10 first, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. 10 pixels. You must have seen this. So this is the top, the first 10 is the top, the next right, bottom, and this one left. So for padding, so you can see how it has changed now. Huh? Yes. So now we know that what we need to adjust. Um, should we reduce the height a bit? Is it too big? Mm, no, sir. It's okay. Yeah, okay. So we can we all need to adjust the size, that is the width side. So you know you're adding to the left and adding to the right. So you now go to yes, your sir. Yeah, then you know we said this the first one is the top, the next one is the right. So we know we're adding to the right. Let's say um 15 pixels. This one is the bottom and this is the left. So this one 15 pixels. Yeah. So I think uh yeah, this size should be okay. Yeah. So to make a pointer, because you know when you're clicking on it, but you have to like use a hand kind of pointer. Too. Yes, so now it's, it's called cursor, cursor pointer. So if you put in your VS Code to guess it for you, cursor pointer. So as you show a hand that is pointing to a link because you're clicking some, so this kind of thing. So let's, um, I think we should move this button up a bit. Yeah, because it's not on the line. So we reduce the margin top. Uh, let's say 20. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's reduce the You can mute your mic, I think it's making some noise. Yeah. 
So let us make it 18. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that's good. Great. So now let's um, give this color. Uh, what color should we use? What color do you suggest? Let's use um, blue. Okay, blue. Yeah, one thing a good thing okay. about VS Code is that you can. Okay, let's give it now. Background color. Since it's coloring the whole button, so it's background color. If it's just one eye color, it's, it's coloring the text. But if it's coloring the whole body, it has to be background. So let's give it blue. So a good thing about VS Code is that you can hover over this blue and choose the shade of blue. This one might be too deep for you. So if you hover over this. Mm. Yeah, so if you hover over this, you can see it brings out this. So you can choose the shade of blue. That, let's say you can use a lighter, so it won't be too deep. Uh -huh. So I can you actually choose, you can choose any one that you want. So it still looks somehow deep. So let's um, go lighter. Uh, okay, I think that is better. Yes. So for the color now, that is the text. So anytime you see background color, is the whole thing coming in. Then if you now see only color, it shows the text. The color. Yes, color. It's white. So I can see what's inside. So color will be white. Then font size, I mean font width of the text to make it thicker. Make it 600. That's what we're using. Yeah. I think the size is okay. Yeah, the size is okay. So you can see it's now. It's clearer. Yes. Yeah. And if you look around, you see this border that you don't like. This black border or something. So that's make um border border of none. Remove the border and remove outline. So you say border none. Border none. Outline none. Did you join this one with your laptop now? Yes, sir. Okay, I joined yes, the I think... call with your laptop. So I think it's Zoom. Yeah, this Zoom, yeah. No, sir. I just connected okay. directly to my phone. Okay, so it's your phone, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, so look at it now. So do we do, leave the button like this or we do border radius to make it curved a bit by size? Yeah, let's make it curved. Uh, yeah, let's make it curved. Yeah. So you can do border radius. Let's say four pixels. Yeah, it looks better curved. Yeah. So is this okay like this? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. So if you look at buttons sometimes to make it active, because now it doesn't look like something is active. Yeah. Most times they put this yes, and hover this thing like to see it blinking somehow. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you can add that. So you, you, what you do for that one is that you open the same sign sign up button. The same thing. Then you now put this upper, I mean this um, column over. You see the option there, over. And open the coil again. So it has told the CSS that yeah, we want the hover uh, function. Yeah. So for hover now, you now choose another background color. So it, this background color will tell you that when I hover over that button, what will it change the background to? So you, you have to use a lighter color so it can be noticeable. So background, yes, background color. So we first pick that blue that we picked before. Then as I told you, you go to you hover over it. It's not being an option. So you now pick a lighter shade of blue. You go light, very light. Yes. So in 10 minutes to go. So we'll just finish up the header part to that. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's going lighter now. Let's check. So if you see it now, you can see. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's noticeable yeah. that you are hovering over something. It's 
doing yes, something. Yeah. So I think that is okay. The white can still remain, the text can still remain white. Yes, sir. Some people, what they do is that when they over, they will change the text to black, the color to black. But yes. should we to do that? Oh. How do you do that? Yeah. So that one, you, you see the same, you put color black. So this thing only affects when you hover over it. If you don't hover it over it, nothing will happen. So color black now. That means change the text to black when you hover over it. So it's white now. So when you hover over it, you see, okay. it changes it to black. Yes, sir. So should we leave it like this? Yes, sir. It's okay like this. It's okay like this, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. So I think we're done with the header part now. Another thing you can do, add them um, cursor to this ones too. Because you are clicking them to home about us. Anything you are clicking, don't forget to add cursor. That is cursor pointer. Okay. So to, to the links, cursor pointer. Yes. So this it's now become like this. Then most times they add cursor pointer to this logo too, because sometimes this home and logo and this everything here they work together and in on. Sometimes you can click on the logo of something to bring you to the home page too, or you can click on this one. Anyone. So okay. so we we'll go to the logo section, logo part, then put cursor to pointer. So when we later on when we get to JavaScript to know how to be linking uh pages or so can we use CSS to that's where you can link it to different pages. I should go on. Yeah. So this concert. Yeah. So what um I think we should put a an imaginary border bottom at the border bottom of this in case um later on you are you have to scroll because we'll make this header fixed. Okay. So that when we add more things and we scroll, it will be moving with uh, these things, those things that we um, add. So um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, I wanted to add an image because this we are going to the hero section. But let me just wait. I think we'll wait, we'll hold on first. When we do the hero section and add more things, then we cannot apply that. But I think we've gained a lot by this header. We've learned a lot of things like on how to style your page. So at least the other guys can meet up with this one that we've done. So the, the assignment is just be to replicate this like so that we can see that you are keeping up from your end, yeah. So you just do it on your own, like, so that next guy will okay. look at your progress and be able to uh, know what to do. Then if you have questions, you can put on the platform. Yes, uh, ask questions. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how oh, is there any question for today's class? Um, so I have a question. Okay. Yeah. So, and when we're styling the um, sign up, when we do the CSS, yeah. um, you said when we follow, that is only for the text. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, background, uh, when you say background color, yes, yeah, like this, this background color that we gave here for the yes, sign up sir. button is for the whole background that is blue. Okay. But you can okay. see that it didn't affect the text. It only, yes, only only affected the background. But when you now want to change the color of the text as we change to white, you just put yes, color, sir. color white. Yes. That is this color. Yeah. Sir, but um, there's no difference between background color and background. Okay, they are the same thing. Yeah. Background color, background, they are the same. Okay, okay sir. Can I use Okay, okay. So great. Yeah, so so we'll just play around up then. I'll send the recorded uh, videos to YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your grace upon our lives. Thank you for all that we've learned, Lord. Indeed, we've been able to cover a lot. We say thank you. Please help us be able to remember all, the, all that we've learned. Even those that were not able to meet up with the class, help them to be able to watch the videos and meet up, Lord, by your grace. Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name, we say. Amen. 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 So we won't score anybody for this class yet. Uh, it's the next class that will uh, score the, I mean, your progress so far. That is, if need be, yeah. yeah. We will let you know based on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night rest. Yeah. See you, sir. Yeah. Okay, bye. -bye. Yeah. Yeah.